So, um, is it cool if we like start the? Uh, oh, we're. Oh, we started. Oh, we start, we're started. How did you like that? Me and Arasha were like professional air instrument players. Yeah, Spitball's not a podcast. It's a band now. Yeah, we were just playing this theme song. I play the Run It Boy. I'm sorry? Oh. You don't know? I'm not familiar. It's the. It's like been on the Billboard like top 100 at number one for like 100. The Run It Boy? Yeah. Can I tell you I went to a concert last night and a girl was playing the Glockenspiel? Oh. They go, and on the Glockenspiel, Lexi, I said, the what? The Glockenspiel. Is that that? Yeah. Right? I, I thought Vince, it was this. I, the way that you speak, it's like, I, I don't know if you're like messing with me. Dude, that's, I get that all the time. Everybody thinks something sarcastic all the time. It's, I, I have a list. And I told. Oh, <laughs> and it's not, not that. <laughs> I wow. was going to say, no. Wow. No, no. I'm sorry about that. It's her. okay. I, I knew it. I could tell when I walked in. Oh, you know, oh. you know I. <laughs> <laughs> you were judging me for my features. I literally oh. told. You're um, sweaty today, by the way. Are you joking? <laughs> yes. Are you fing <laughs> joking? Get absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. I am sweating up a storm. You look, right. you're literally fine. You think you're I'm glowing and you're beautiful? You're doing great, sweaty. You, oh, it's just you've been projecting to me I before know. we started. I know. Uh, I know. I'm staring at your pits, which I'm not. I think you are. All right. Good morning, Los Angeles. Today we've got my good friend Vince Lopez in the studio. <laughs> Be honest, is your grandma watching? My, dude, my grandma scares me, bro. Oh. Wait. No, you can, I'll, you can leave that. Sure. Um, <laughs> Hi, grandma. I love, I Hi, love grandma. you, grandma. Florence, Aww. but she like she'll be like watching my ex's Instagram stories. Uh, you know what? Old people love to be in the business. Like business has nothing to do She's with. Thirty five. Yeah. You're joking. Not, yeah, oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> see, see, <laughs> see. I know, I know. <laughs> you were like, you're not messing with me. So uh, can I tell Sometimes you? Sometimes I do. Can I tell you that I literally was like, because Vince and I we're good friends. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. consider I'd say you so. a bestie. Yeah, we're besties. We're besties. And I I told Arash, I was like, listen, Vince is one of my favorite people in the world. I love him. You're going to think he's being mean to you. But, really? Well, because that was he, the warning. You, I was really? like, you're so, you, but you're just so dry, but you're so funny. You're dry until you get like you opened up and then you're like kind of a goofy little guy. Honestly, I I, That's I, valid. I feel like I relate to that a lot of the time. I think I think people's first impression of me is like, oh, you hate me or you're, oh, yeah. you're angry with me. And then it's like, yeah, you peel back the layers and you're like, oh no, you're silly. People always will tell me they're like intimidated by me or scared to talk. I'm like, I'm five foot eight with the lisp. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Like, I like that. I you should know. make that your bio. Oh. Five foot eight with a lisp? Yeah. I'll do it right now. Change sure, it right now. It. Okay. Change it right know. now. Five foot eight with a lisp. Five foot eight with a lisp. Well, yeah. Vince is my buddy, and I'm going to, you know, do right your bio now. thing, and then we'll intro you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I. But do it. Prove it. Well, right now, it's I probably look like your ex boyfriend. Uh, that is good. That's good. That oh, is good. Which actually reminded me of what I was going to say, too, because my, um, my ex is like family members. They do the same thing. They'll like comment on my stuff. Mm, like really? an aunt that I met at Thanksgiving will be like, uh, all is well. Uh, like like she's what? telling you yeah, right <laughs> or asking no she's she's telling <laughs> she's, she's just, telling we're and good. she's putting it on like photos from like my high school graduation like she's digging through my old fb what? and commenting on that. really wait yeah we need to circle back because people are gonna ask they're gonna wonder why i asked you if your grandma was watching oh well, i thought well, you were just genuinely wondering oh well it's the one time you your grandma you told me that your grandma was like when are oh, you oh that's spitball? right my grandma watches spitball unless you were lying no no I, to I totally forgot were. i just my train of thought went somewhere else. yeah my grandma watches spitball she, she's a baller she, she was um i want to say like a few months ago was like yeah she's a baller in so many ways um <laughs> she uh she she told me she's like when are you when are you gonna be on rowan's podcast oh and i was like i don't know you I'll ask we were, Rowan. And aren't, today. You, aren't you glad that you waited until we were like in like if you would have been in the nook? The we nook. listen, love for the nook. Hatred for the love nook. Love for the nook. It was season one, but season two I pictured being at the nook when I was manifesting this. We were gonna put you me in my spot, Arasha in hers, and have you sit on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crisscross? Yeah, we'll bring, crisscross we'll, bring, we'll bring the nook back just for you, Vince. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I'm so happy that you're here. Obviously, we have wanted to have you on the podcast for a long time because I love sucking all my friends dry for their clout. And um you're great for that. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um you are first and foremost, a lovely guy. And second and Try foremost, 5'8". 
Yeah, and third, with the um, but you are the lead singer of a very popular band called Mind's Eye. Yeah, which we were trying to get T-shirts for to wear today. I DM'd Jack. I really? Was, I was like, yeah, I DM'd Jack, and I was like, Jack, I need some shirts. And it just, the schedule didn't line up, but do bless Jack if you're a Mind's Eye fan, love. Yes, um, we're going to get the shirts later and wear it on a later episode and be like, shout out wanna, Vince. I didn't want to oh, yeah. ask you, because I was like, that'll give away the they'll gag. Give away the gag, yeah. Also... You could have, uh, there's so many things you could have done to make it happen. You I just know. didn't put enough effort. I think so, I know. I, I But I did, I messaged Jack, and he was like, totally cool. I'm I'm down our schedule just didn't line up so all the love for him for like helping right right Damn. um shout out, shout out Jack I guess I could have come to your house and just went in your room and told didn't you didn't I give you look. a key uh I don't think so because yeah. I was supposed I, you asked me if I could come take care of your cats and then I wasn't able to oh why not yeah what the fuck I think I was doing something I think I was like also out of town and you were like I need someone to s- get my cats I think Jillian did it I think she did God yeah. bless. for the future I am very happy to watch your cats but you also know I love being in your apartment it's very cozy and I like being there I mean hey when when I'm gone they need watching I'm, a, I'm a cat lady as of recent really you have Is a that, new cat, or you oh, just found that, a new love for cats? I found a new love for cats. You literally just posted a picture of a cat on your story yesterday, and now Arash is like, I I'm think a cat I'm person. into cats. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have been discussing cats for about a year now. Is that right? It's right. That seems like not a lot, a and long you, time. And, yeah. and that's what I said. I said I was a reason. <laughs> I said recently. Yeah. But not. Did you just hear me snore? <laughs> yeah. Um, How embarrassing of you to call me out on cats and then snort about it. My bad. We- I I love cats now. As of last year, when I picked up a black cat that I was almost gonna foster, and I was mm. like, oh my god, I want this cat, but didn't do that. I so. know. I really like cats. I am allergic though, so when I'm at your right. place, I have to not put my entire face into Cujo or church. Mm -hmm. I'm allergic to cats. It just went away. I know, that does happen. I I grew up with a cat named Zeus, and actually, he made me sick all the time. Oh my gosh, okay, we have to talk about this now. We're going to talk about this. The the reason that I I cannot foster a cat is because my boyfriend is allergic. Oh, really? And everybody that I've talked to about it has been like, oh, I'm allergic too. It just goes away. And every time I bring that to him, he's like, okay, well, that's not going to happen to me. Or like, okay, well, I'm severely allergic. And I'm like what do I do? What I'm, do I say? How do I help convince him that I want a cat? That I we're think gonna get a cat? the best thing you can do is secretly have the cat. I was That's exactly what I was going to say. I was gonna and say, then be like, you're fine. I was going to say, get the cat. When he goes to sleep, duct tape the cat to his mouth and nose so he can't breathe until right. he's breathing in the dander. And then, <laughs> when he, and, then he, and then he wakes up, get the cat out of there and yeah. say, and did you die? Right. Well, or, when, no, I think you do it over time and you heavily gaslight. Mm, so yeah. then he's like, so itchy today. And you're like, weird. Something must be absolutely like, wrong I just with can't you. breathe today. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm swollen from my inside out today. And then once it dies down, you're like, there's a, been a cat here the whole time. And see, it's not right. that bad. Right. And, and you guys, I kind of did that. <laughs> the, kind, the cat that was on my story yesterday was my friend Phoebe's cat that I was like playing with and watching for a little bit. And then I went to go see him and I was like, yeah, so I uh, was just playing with that cat for an hour and now I'm with you and you're fine. Let me ask you guys a question. I read a story recently about this boyfriend, this man, and he has a wife. Was my hand sweaty? Girl, (laughs) chill. (laughs) (laughs) And also, I redact my same. I don't like the bandana. Do you not? No, it looks great. No, I'm well, let's see it off. It's real tacky. Quick. <gasps> I'm kidding. I literally no. said. I asked you <laughs> when you got here. I said, "No, just I'm ban- kidding." It I looks said, "Just great. the bandana." No, but <laughs> actually, I liked it better with it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> go. oh my god. Wait, a little queen. prairie moment. Oh my god. I asked Vince when he got here. I said, "Does my bandana look ugly and gay?" And he said, "Yes." <laughs> Well, <laughs> I, d- I didn't answer. I didn't answer. I said Wait, Vince is going to take this You one. guys are, I thought you were the kinds of friends that would tell me if I looked a- ugly and gay. I, I you just don't didn't look, feel like I had the space to step in. You and don't comment. look ugly. Just Gay like, is all over you. Uh, that's true. I'm yeah. riddled with it, absolutely. Um, the dander of it. Right, uh-huh. <laughs> um, no, okay, so man dates girl. Mm. Man dates woman. Isn't that a show? <laughs> <laughs> and... She has a cat who's an asshole, a piece of shit. She goes out of town. Oh, he swaps the cat for an identical-looking cat that's, that's well-behaved. Yes. 
girlfriend comes home. She's like, oh, my God, he's so he's turned a new leaf. He's such a good cat. And then they go on. They get married. They've been together forever. They've always had that cat. Is this morally unacceptable? And how do we feel about it? I feel like it's sick and twisted. For I do sure. too. It's very sick. It's and not twisted. right. No. I do too. It's I think like because, so. like, what if they like he swapped that cat out at a shelter? Like, what if the other cat went from literally being in its home to being like euthanized? I what just, if it was a child in a cat suit? No. <laughs> Yeah. What if there's well, a there's kid in there? Completely different concerns. <laughs> <laughs> there's a live person that he swapped out for an actual cat. Yeah. What if there's a kid in a cat suit? Open up that cat suit. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, okay. So did he? I need more context here. Like, did he try like bringing it up and being like, "Hey, your cat sucks." I think so. I think yeah. And she was like, <laughs> "Go away." You. So you do know this story? No, I do know this oh, story. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know him personally, or I, I don't know the kid in the cat costume, but I, right. I, I, do, I do know that I think he was like, this cat is not chill. Right. Well, yeah, like, it, cause, honestly, and that much is true. Yeah. But I couldn't, you can't live with that. I, I couldn't live on a lie like that, just swapping no. the cat. Also, if I was the the woman, I would feel really nutty and out of my mind because I, I think I would deep down... Like, that's, like, extremely psychological. Like, I feel like I would be like, I feel like this is not my cat. Are you just but saying it, you would you would have the intuition? You would, you would, it would never happen to you. It would never happen to me. I'm way too clever. I'm right? simply too smart. Well, I mean, kind of, right? Like, how is she just rolling with this, like... Yeah, and it did, imagine that. He swaps it with, like, it's an orange cat that he gives away, and then it's, like, a naked cat with three legs, and he's like, it's the same one, honey. Just well-behaved. Right. And you, you would, would be like, this is a different cat. <laughs> <laughs> According to my calculations, something is off. I That's do think this psycho is a behavior. Cat. Okay, I think so too. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. To just like to conveniently do a little swap because it's easier for you. Obviously, objectively, it might be like a better situation, mm -hmm. but it still is like incredibly manipulative to also, just yeah. swap that up with your partner. Also, lazy. Just like train the cat. Yeah, be, oh. my when I got my cat church church, we love church. Hello, church. Um, she was Loki a dick. Yeah. She was a dick. Mm. And she's very she she doesn't come out like Cujo does. No. Cujo's a little crazy slut. Yeah. He's a little like he goes crazy. Mm. He, you know, when you walk up he's like yeah. He oh, is yeah. very sweet. He's very affectionate. Sweet. To everybody except me. Right. That's because you like do things like take his like feather and make him run like four miles. Oh god back forbid I play with my cat. <laughs> That's like be, that's because you do things like take a little jingly mouse and yeah. drag it around. It's your you're fault like, for feeding him. Yeah, you're like opening what the can and putting the food in this bowl. <laughs> oh my god! So you're so you're a cat guy. Mm -hmm. You're a lovely guy, and you're a singer, and I you're wanna, a music guy. We want to talk I'm a little bit about man. the band. It's funny for me because I obviously love you, and I think you're just like my my friend. But like the it's the way that you like act like you have fans. Like your band is successful. You have fans. You have girls who Our are grandmas crazy, watch you. crazy oh about you. He, you <laughs> my know, grandmas. Yeah. I went to his show, um, sold out the El Rey. The El Rey Theater. That was the one the where way. you were up in the VIP section. Yeah. I walked to the front of the line. I said, yeah, I'm with the band. Mm -hmm. And they said, no one cares. Here's your <laughs> band. Um, they and, said, is that a bandana around your neck yeah take that <laughs> off they said all right second floor sweaty <laughs> i was so glad by the way i was up there in the vip section because one thing about me i don't like standing in crowds especially not if i don't need to <laughs> i'm like hello yeah and did you, the whole concert i literally was like hi vince that's my friend i saw you up there i could see your your beanie was reflecting light oh my god Aww. and if that's my shining beacon of gayness <laughs> oh. right here okay i i feel like where's I need gaybo to know. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know the like concert experience. What is it like being on stage performing to a bunch of people? Are is like the audience usually like hype? Are they usually like singing along? Are people mouthing and getting the words wrong? Are people oh, looking that at happens the screen so behind much. you? Like what what is it like being up on stage? Well, we're not at screen behind us level yet, but we're um like a, a lot of times what it's it's different in LA. LA is the most where we have the biggest like fan base, you know, like where we're, I feel like we're welcomed in a community and um, the fans, the LA fans are crazy. Cause a lot of it comes from the TikTok, 
you know yes. it's a lot associated like my like Which the, we will get to the yes. indie guy character and shit uh-huh um but people are super supportive it feels like a very tightly knit community which is crazy and people just go bonkers like that show is actually like it gave me such intense uh imposter syndrome Mm. but you did so good and the thing about you too is that you just have like this extreme like stage charisma and i I really commend you because you like the your ability to like lock in like you first of all are a great performer you sing so well you're talented and you're funny like he sees like you're so aware of the crowd Mm. and it's like he takes he like part of his thing is like he takes time in between songs like almost to a miniature stand-up set i I do do like a and it's crazy because I'll only come up with the joke right before I walk out. It's usually mostly like I'll yeah. I'll do it when I see people. But I had this shirt that said uh, machismo, mm-hmm. on, um, which is just like masculinity. Mm-hmm. And like, um, if you didn't know. Right. Please. There's, and thank you for explaining that yeah, to me. Yeah. Because I would never. You, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Right. Um, but I knew that I was like, I'm going to look for a white person in the crowd. Because our fans are mainly Hispanic. Oh, okay. Which is fortunate. And that wasn't sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, that was actually me being serious. Right. Just so you know. Yeah. Um, I like that you do have to disclaim that because... It did sound sarcastic. I heard it there. No, yeah. no. I'm catching on to it now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, and then I knew I was like, I'm going to make a joke. I'm going to find a white person in the crowd. And then I'm going to be like, I know what you're thinking. Who's machismo? And I knew I was going to make that joke like the second before I went out there. I was like, oh, I got to find a white person. So through the entire first song, I was like... Where the war? I was like, oh, there's a guy. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a one, but it's literally with all Hispanic people in the front. And I'm like, yeah. Like, there was even a moment I was like, where are my Hispanics at? Oh, yeah. Huge Everyone. roar. Oh. It was crazy. Wow. So cool. So cool. I That's feel- awesome. I think what's so great about that, it's similar to stand up, is like when you're doing a show, it's not just kind of like doing the same thing that you've rehearsed over and over, but it's what you do that night on stage with that specific audience. Right. Yeah. So to be able to like pull jokes from like who you see out there, what's actually happening, what's happening like that day or that night in whatever city that you're in, to be able to make it so specific is what I think people attach to when it comes to musicians and artists of all kinds. Kind. Yeah, yeah. Like when Sabrina Carpenter's like, mm-hmm, spitball. Uh huh. I was just yeah. thinking that. And then I like to the spitball. Spit yeah. She's <laughs> always saying that. She's, yeah. al- She's always saying yeah. that. When I like, got on the podcast, it was a hit ball. ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think um, you too, like you're like kind of at this level right now that I think your fans really appreciate because you're very like you're you're not somebody that like closes like your fans out like you your ego is non-existent you're very humble and you come right out and you like it's a big deal for people because you guys are like at that level where people love your music they love your songs your lyrics and whatnot and they love you but you're very much like you're kind of at that level where people think they're your friend in a good way no Mm -hmm. and that's very important to me like i don't like the like the whole i don't know i don't see it as like your fan i'm guy you right. know like it's very much like <laughs> i'm or you're just a different a person that likes it because yeah here's a here's a, i was funny because this is a conversation i was having last night i'm on a a discord with like i always used to go on tiktok live for a while like almost every day yeah, yeah, yeah. and i, I would just li- i would just live stream me start to finish making the demo of a song mm. i love that and i would always take people like would be like what if what about this lyric or i'll be like <gasps> does this sound good or does it sound better and then people would give opinions and then wow. I kind of like there's regulars that I see and then you kind of form like like I feel like there is like some sort of parasocial relationship. But honestly, on both ends, because mm. I see them all the time, too, you right. know? Yeah. It's, but it's something to be tread lightly. Right? Yeah. Like you have a very respectful like to have boundaries is good, but mm-hmm. to also like look at the people that are appreciating your art and show them a um, reciprocated respect yeah, yeah, that's what it, it is. It's like, yeah, of course, there's boundaries, like yeah. you know, but like, um, there's some freaks. I've seen them. Mm-hmm. Oh, you've literally seen them. Yes, like yeah. up close at yeah. the concerts. Oh, yeah. yeah, we can talk. Oh, um, yeah. but it's it's just kind of wild. I just I just don't mind. Like, I'm always gonna. Here's the thing: when I was working at Universal, can I talk about Universal? Talk about I'm Universal. Sure. Tell I, us about it. I have nothing to do. Um, with what did you and what did you do at Universal? Right, you were. Oh, I did the trash. 
I was. A, I did the trash. You were taking the trash out at Universal. Yeah, I it was park services. Park services. No, I was no, a no. Park the, those are my favorite people because th- that's the like green uniforms. I think. Yeah. Right? Well, and the thing is too is that you're like so hot. Like I feel like you like I feel like you are like, like the what mysterious are you like the mysterious trash man <laughs> right no for like no, uh, those, are the, those are the You're real like, I got it honestly but sometimes at a theme park, yeah I was people like, are foul we need them and you during horror nights hot Ugh. dude thank people you people are into it people I'm I honestly I miss working at, at Universal yeah. a lot did they treat you well at Park Services nope <sighs> not at all. This that is makes the, me, okay. This segues back. Makes me feel bad for those people. Then no, I don't feel bad for them. Not the people that were mistreating you, obviously, but the, the people who are no, on your that's level what I'm who are about. getting mistreated. Oh. oh, so everybody was just a big bucket of no, mistreatment. No, I was more of the main joke. <laughs> uh, right. uh, I do feel bad for them, but damn, you know, get out. You know, pretty yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. Um, nope. But Us? the reason I brought up Universal is yes. because. Um, <laughs> 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 she's gravitating you couldn't help toward it. the sweat <clears throat> I couldn't help it it had oh to God. it's so funny oh, Dustin I might need you Dustin <laughs> can you not use your force to make my mic touch my boobs <laughs> yeah I'm sorry I'm, the I, riz is insane oh yeah that was all riz that yeah. was the riz the riz in the air so um, what were you saying fans um what oh. what I want to hear about some of these crazy fans. What's the well, well, craziest fan interaction? Oh shit! Um, I, my, most of my crazy interactions are like negative. I wouldn't know <sighs> if they would be called fans, which Rowan knows pretty much all of them. Yeah, so they're but, the haters. Uh, yeah, there was one, yeah. There but was, but people are f- weird. Like but, people think if you, they they're like you're on my phone and I see you. So when I see you in person, I can just like say every intrusive thought I think about you. Yeah. No. For real. I um. But uh, really quick, the reason I brought yeah. up the universal thing was just because. Oh, oh right, right, right. Um, the, I would I, like the success kind of started happening. The success. No, right. sorry, very, I'm not very laughing very at the success. <laughs> I was just thinking about no, the no, no, no. I didn't think you were. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you were. The success. <laughs> the success. <laughs> what? <bro>? Right. Um, <laughs> what the? Is was like happening while I was working there. So during horror nights, a lot I would get recognized a mm. lot, and so. I would be taking pictures with people while I was working, and then Universal was sh- kind of trying to be like, "You can't do that. Like, you can't take pictures." And the supervisors wanted to like get on me for it, and then I was like, they brought me in, talked to me about it, and I was like, "I'm gonna take pictures if people ask me to." Yeah. And then it was really cool because this HR lady, um, they brought me in, they brought me to HR, and they were talking to me about like, uh, like about taking pictures with fans and whatever and the hr lady's like there's no rule that says he can't do that hell yeah and i was like pop off queen yes thank you well right because universal she was like he did universal (laughs) is largely concentrated where the people that are working there are performers and artists like yeah i don't i don't understand how they are like almost holding us back in that way if they are placing that restriction on interacting with fans well i kind of get it a little bit with me specifically because my videos i did like this series at universal on tiktok where i would take break room like our break room was like kind of like had a bunch of gas station food in it and like i would buy like stuff at the market and then i would make it into like a gourmet thing and make my coworkers eat it Mm -hmm. and i would (laughs) while i was making it i would talk to the camera and i would basically shit all over universal i talk about the pay I would talk about like certain departments that don't treat people well. I would talk about like mm. I'd be like the supervisor uh, won't stop flirting with uh, mm. the employees. Whoa. So tea, yeah. uh, you were just making tea and gourmet food in the break room. Is that yeah. such a crime? I know. Yeah, no. I was just I was just keeping it real. Wow. Also, is it such a crime to be popular and well liked and people want photos with you? It's like when I go to Sir and I see Guillermo the manager and I say, "Can I get a photo?" <laughs> for the 10th time and he's like, "Rowan, leave me alone." So, when did you actually <laughs> step away from Universal then? Was it because genuinely you were just like, "I don't want these worlds to mix anymore?" No, I don't mind. Like, I don't mind the I liked that about Universal. I liked that people would recognize me and like I liked meeting people and talking to them about, you know, that and I liked I liked the environment of Universal and I think I think there's very much a shared It's like Thousands of people together with a shared trauma, almost. It's like we're all trauma bonded in a weird, fucked up way. 
but I think the people that work there, it's Universal is like a big high school. Like it's like there's lockers, there's a cafeteria, that is and everybody's. True. F- oh, there's so much drama. It's not me and Raja met. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Do you know what, actually, Vince? I'm so glad that you said that. Like, I, 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 I truly love that perspective of like, of of allowing those things to to intertwine. Like, I feel like I have run into the attitude and perspective of like, oh, well, like you know, I'm above this, or uh-huh. like you know, it's time my success is getting too big. I, I, I'm I'm too big for Universal. And and you're coming in with this like really fresh outlook on it. That's like, that's almost helping to destroy what we were just saying about this like parasocial relationship. Because you're like, if fans are seeing me at Universal, they're seeing that I'm also a full rounded person yeah. who needs a job, who needs to sustain my living somehow, and and has more facets of my life than just my music. Absolutely. Yeah. And I will say that you two are my friends who get recognize the most like when we go out like i've seen it i mean especially russia respectfully but like <laughs> we go I, like wherever we go someone knows her obvious we were f- at oh my the god we bank. had to tell this i realized we didn't tell the bank story we'll tell it we'll tell the next episode we'll, but we'll like get there literally we went to the bank to open up a bank account because me and Arasha own a production We're company. loaded now. And um, y'all got an LLC? We, we do. got an LLC, baby. Spitball's yeah. a business. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. And we have no money. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, but we like, we're in line and like this guy in a suit comes over and he's like, hi ladies, how can I help you today? Right. And we were like, oh, we're here to open up a business banking account for our, our company. And he goes, oh, okay, well, right this way. Arasha, I watch Smosh, I love you. <laughs> like literally was like we were like oh uh, okay like a, a bank um, man a wells fargo man i was like really but i will say that like you guys both of you so every time you get recognized it's like you take the moment to like have the interaction saying like something nice it's never just like oh yeah okay okay thanks like it's so nice half the time like me and arasha will be out and we're like talking shit or something or talking about poop and someone's like are you arasha and then i'm like and and spitball and 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 spitball yeah Yeah, nice to meet you yeah um but it's important because i think like so much of this like new influencer mindset is like the same way why i've always think that thought that fame is weird it's like how are you going to look at the people who have brought you to the status that you're at because they like what you do and literally look down upon that them? That part. I don't get that at all either because that's what I'm like. I literally like. It's like, thank you. I couldn't have. It's like I feel so embraced that mm-hmm. I could never. I feel like it's my duty. Like, and it's not even duty. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. Do, 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 Nailed it. Do, 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 do. Poop. Um, it's like. I. It's not even like a. I didn't even think about the whole like, like when you said like the well-rounded thing. I, I've had multiple people say this to me recently and I didn't even think, it's not like I'm like, I'm going to show that I work because I want them to think I'm a, like, I didn't even think about it. But so many people have come up to me and they'll be like, I saw you working at Universal and that you're doing the music thing and whatever. And like, they were like, oh, now I feel like I can do it because they're like, some people like kind of hide that they work. It's, yes. I think it's so that weird. That is like LA's biggest, I think it's fucking lame i think do you know how many of your favorite influencers and stuff that we have been able to meet and know and i'm like you look like this online but i saw you waiting tables last night you know like that kind of vibe completely fine fine, but like it's the same kind of like vibe of like why are we're all you're all like it's it's the contribution of this facade that if you're not like grinding and a hundred percent successful on paper and online, yeah. then like you have no value. Right, right. Yeah. And, and it's, it's like, like the reality is side hustles are necessary, especially in a city like LA. Like everybody has four or five jobs because we're trying to get multiple streams of income and, and we're trying to just put on display the the like um the the most like branded version of ourselves of like oh no 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 I'm a I'm a full time musician I'm a full time influencer I'm a full time actor and it's like Queen good for you if you are but it's also okay if you have a shift at like a, a coffee shop yeah absolutely absolutely I, it's kind of a weird yeah it's just such a weird mindset because I've had somebody recognize me at Universal and they were like uh, wait you work here and I was like yeah. Or like, or you know how I make videos that are very direct, like I'm, yeah, I, I talk about working there and then they're like, oh, you actually work there? I thought that was a joke. Mm-hmm. Like, no. I'm like, why the, what joke would that be? Right. On myself? Um, but like, <laughs> um, 
somebody recognized me at Universal and then they were like, why do you why do you work here? And I was what like, because you... I live in Los Angeles and I need right. to pay rent. Right. Really? Really? No, though. truly. I, I don't know like what people think. Like, it's weird because you can have all these, um, what are they called? Acc- uh, accolades. Mm-hmm. Like, and a lot of things to show for like the work that it corresponds with your talent. But half of us aren't getting paid half the time. Right. Like, you know, it's like, I, you know, it's like they're big things. Like I, like my comedy special is qualified for an Emmy nomination, and I still, I'm like, that doesn't mean anything to me. In the it means bank. nothing to me either. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's literally yeah. stupid yeah, and dumb. The, yeah, nobody like, that cares. Doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Emmy? Right. She's Who hot. Is Emmy? Who's Emmy? And no, what is she nominating? But completely, like. Honestly, Vince, I'm so, so glad that you said that. I I just truly feel like that is such a refreshing thing to hear and to say. Like, both the the authentic connection with a fan that comes up to you to approach you. Like, exactly. Wouldn't be here without you. Why would I treat you like, eh? But also, you guys are also in the position, too, because you are, like, front-facing, like, people with an online presence and, and whatnot that... I think it's unfair a lot of the time when people like want to come. Like, I think fan interactions are absolutely great, but it's like it has to be a mutual respect. Right. And this is like with all types of celebrities, right? Where like people come up and it's like, you can't be like mean to me, like just because you know who I am or something. And then if I like protect my space, my boundaries, paint me online to be like some horrible person. Like, totally. That's the thing too is like, and I, you know, I always say this, like, I, you are the kindest, sweetest, most one of the most important people in my life and stuff. And I know like sometimes it's like you are like the villain or the the one that's like got all the good pranks and stuff. But I'm like what I will not ever allow is any slander against my friend who is literally one of the kindest people I've ever known. Well, thank you for saying that. And I, Vince sucks. And Vince doesn't mean anything. anything. No. And Vince doesn't mean anything to me. No, Vince and Emmy work at Universal. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna bring back Emmy too. Oh my god! <laughs> I know that did make me sound blood. like I was like plugging. I d- I just meant that like yeah some- no that was like I was like oh my god yikes huge plug I'm whoa sorry. yeah I'm sorry and the whole bank account thing yeah. right god, somebody else wants to get recognized huh yeah yeah <laughs> oh wait I have to tell you what I told Arasha in the car last night yeah, oh my I god please <laughs> in the car on the way here love this story <laughs> this I was at a concert me and my girlfriend. Oh, went to see. Yeah, we need. Yeah, more on that. Uh, Me and my girlfriend went to. I thought you were straight. That's crazy. (laughs) Straight and sweaty. Come on, guys. I should have never let you two in a room together. (laughs) Um, I went to a concert with my girlfriend last night, and literally, this woman had like a young person with them. A child, like like a like a teen in a cat suit, and was like, "I was, dude, I was gonna bring that back too." Come on, come on, let's do lunch. Um, (laughs) and. Literally, they go, the mom, like, looks at the, like, teen. They're, like, talking, talking, talking. And then the mom turns around and goes, excuse me, are you on the internet? And literally, my girlfriend goes, I am. It's the guest Wi-Fi. And the, and the, <laughs> and the mom goes, thanks. I've been trying to figure out. And meanwhile, I was so like, you, you <laughs> thought he, oh, no one was, was ready. She was like, yes, spitball. Well, uh, yes. Season two yeah. is, in fact, out. And she was like, this. she's like, Excuse me, are you on the internet? And I was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing, babe. I'm so and sorry. And literally, my girlfriend's yeah. like, yeah, it's the guest Wi Fi. And I was like, oh. That is Dude, I would have thought so that too. Though. iconic. That's so funny. Mm. I had a not as embarrassing as that one. And, <laughs> but um, I had something. I was leaving Universal. I was. Mis- <laughs> okay, I have a story, but it's not as bad as that. Yeah, it's not as f- up his ass but my story is better okay um like i was leaving universal and this girl was like uh, like she was working at uh ga like at mm-hmm. the but at the ticket thing yeah and i'm like leaving and she's like i recognize you and then i was like oh yeah uh from from tiktok and then she was like no not TikTok. oh and i'm like oh like music and she's like mine's that and she's like no and she's like you work here <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, yeah. That is embarrassing to no, like, get Vince, ahead of it. I fear like, that's on the same level. <laughs> no, well, it's what am I supposed to say? If I recognize you. No, I'm from totally where, Shadi? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to, like I. That's all. That is the one like fan inter- interaction thing. I never know what to say when the people be like, I people like, you're you. that guy from TikTok, and I'm like, like I can't say thank you. Right, right, I right. Say, yeah, like, I am. So yeah, I, I always. 
I do have a TikTok account. I, my go-to is actually this, or you know, actually, I, I haven't really tried it out. I've just been thinking about it. Like maybe what if my I go to that I've but my I've go to that I haven't actually tried because nobody's ever come up to me is what if what if I just drop like what's up? Yeah, well, that's what oh, be fine. Would you, yeah, like, would you like that? That's yeah, pretty standard. I feel like. What would you say in well, yeah, that? Yeah, like, role play. What are you, you know that would be. Yeah, I think we should <laughs> role play. I'll be okay. the fan. Okay. Is this like a hot role player? I mean, it I could, could do it in the lower register. You want be. me to put my bandana all back on? Okay. No, nobody wants that. Okay, um, go ahead. Um. So yeah, uh, did you want to get the chicken tenders? Hey. Are um sorry, I'm a big Smosh fan. Are you uh? Are you Arasha? from Smosh? Yeah. What's up? What are uh, you saying instead of that? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying because Vince was like, Vince Vince said, no, Vince said, no, Vince said, Vince said. Are you broken? That. <laughs> constantly. I am. Vince said that, you know, it's, what do you say after? Like, I recognize you or like, I, I, oh. I recognize you on TikTok. Oh. And it's kind of like, yeah, you don't necessarily want to be like, thank you. Or like, mm -hmm. yes, indeed. Because they might not like it. Right. And so I feel like, I feel like what I've kind of learned is like, you kind of steer the conversation a little bit. So that's a really good way to just kind of be like, What's up? Yeah. What's up? Okay, yeah, that's doing? actually valid. I might try that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. What is that? Okay, Come on. so now I'll be the fan. Are you ready? Okay. Who's going to talk to me? Um, I don't know, the bank you guys, teller? You guys could talk... <laughs> um, I don't know the bank teller. You guys could talk to each other. No, you go ahead. You can be the, you can be Vince's friend that I'll come up, come up oh, to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and then it was like, I didn't think it was going to fit, but it did. Oh, my God. Excuse thought. me. Hi. How's it going? Hey, sorry. Are, are you, uh, you're Vince. Yeah, I am. Uh, what's up? Yeah. I felt good. Guys, what's up? It's it. That's it's the vibe. It. Cause, it's yeah, it. Because, yeah, I think people don't know if they can actually talk to me. Yeah. So I'll be like, yeah, what's up? That actually works. There you go. And now people are going to watch football. They're going to go up to you and they're going to be like, Vince, what's up? And then you're going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, do it to me, do it to me. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just sitting here waiting. Here. Um, so Vince, do you wanna let's get out of here? Let's get, let's yeah. Go. Oh my god, guys, I know, I know. <laughs> Spitball. Excuse me, do you have the internet? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I really thought something was out of I was like, oh, the way that what? I can... are you? Oh my god, are you on the internet? <laughs> the way that I can see why the actually I am because <laughs> mine is not connecting. <laughs> That's crazy that that happened to you. No, I can just see Rowan just being like, <laughs> I was like, I thought it was about to look so cool, like in front of my girlfriend, like being like, oh my god, please, and like, but the woman was like eighty years old. I should have guessed, right. but Bridget just like <laughs> without. Back, what if that was my grandma? <gasps> Well, she would have known. She would have been spitball. like, spitball, I know, what's the Wi-Fi? Right, she right. She doesn't talk that quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little slower than that. Yeah. All right, sorry. She needs a what's up first. Right. Yeah. What's and up? is she on what's up? What's up? So we've alluded a lot to talking about the fact that obviously you're a singer, but you also like have this presence on TikTok. TikTok. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? And do you want to talk a little bit about your most popular TikTok and who else TikTok. might be in it? What's up? What do you want, what do you want me to talk Killed about? Killed it. Thank Killed you. Killed it. Nailed it. Oh, that was a good one. You liked it? I've been learning. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so Vince, your whole tick, your your like your popular TikTok kind of, I don't know how to how to word this. Like your your in, your your your. I really am broken. I think I just need new batteries. Honestly, this is the person who's never doesn't know what TikTok is. So your TikTok and, so yeah, and I know and I know so your and so, if so you your wanna... TikTok like uh, internet algorithm is. Um, <laughs> It's this like this chair makes me feel like I'm gonna pee my pants often. All the time. I know. This chair makes me feel like I have to brace <laughs> myself for something. There's a um there's an uh oxygen tank. Yeah, yeah. Go chair. ahead and secure your <laughs> like, our masks first. And then your own. Um Okay. Oh, I thought you were saying that like something scared, like I'm on Ellen, and like they're gonna do the prank thing where somebody <laughs> oh. scares me, and oh, then baby, she's gonna Ellen's abuse the crew. No, we treat our workers anymore. well. We respect. 
and we look them in the eye. I don't eye. know. You were making Dustin do a lot of shit. Dustin, thank you, Dustin. Shout we out Dustin, you. you guys. If you are watching, comment below. Let's get Dustin in the chat. We love Dustin. Get Dustin in the chat. Um, um you were saying something. Okay, well. yes. So your TikTok persona, as we were as we were spitballing over there, I kind of came up with the word, and now I'm ruining it by talking about it. Um, but your persona is like that indie boy on TikTok. Is yeah, that right? I'm do like, you resonate with that? Do I resonate? Do I feel like I am that? Is that what you mean? I think so. Um, n- no. Ooh, that I've, was indie of you. Yeah. Um, mm. I feel like I'm that aesthetic, sure. Yeah. But I don't feel like... I think maybe at one time I was on accident. It but, feels like you've taken all of the parts of you that do resonate with that and you've deeply s- satiricized them. Is that a word? I feel Satirized? like... Satirized? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a lot of it is like... It's making fun of a certain type of people and also making fun of the way of like thing. I think it's a, it's a combination of like ways I felt and people I've met, yeah. you know, mm. and like stories that my like friends that like have like a shitty date they've been on. Yeah. Um, but I try not to be that. Um, I think like people do think I'm like that, though, like oh, straight yeah. up, like <laughs> people treat me like I'm like that. Oh, you play the character well, but it's like once you know who you actually are. I think it's funny that people can't separate that, though, because I'm like, you. Or if you meet Millie Bobby Brown, do you think she has powers? That's literally the exact same thing that we were saying with the whole like villain thing. It's like in a way you're like you're playing this character, you're right. amplifying your personality or a lot of the time it's just the bit. Yeah, it's, it's and, just the and jokes. done well. That's the thing right. too, is people will label you something and you're like, uh I was rewatching our TikTok. Uh huh. The like two we did together. Yeah. Those are like my best TikToks. I, well that's what I was trying to allude to earlier. I was like, Tell me about your TikTok because you know that one. Oh, you that wanted one me to talk has about has a Millie. That's a good I watched it the other night too. It's is that funny. the one where you guys are like in bed at the beginning? Oh, that was a different video. Wait, that wasn't. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, that, that wasn't, wasn't TikTok. You, wait, how did you get that? Yeah, wait, that was that? that was actually a I different told, website. I told you not to show anyone that. Yeah. Wait, no, you we guys were, were in bed in and in you guys bed. didn't have any clothes on. And, you were <laughs> and the no, I always keep all my clothes on. Me gotcha, too. Gotcha, gotcha, I literally gotcha. only f- the Doc Martens. Okay, I'm thinking oh, of something. Oh, you're else. not wearing your Docs today, and I thought that was <gasps> interesting. Yeah, well, I thought I wasn't going to be seen on the way all the way down. You're not. Yeah. So why'd you have to say that? We'll just pretend that you have them on. Um, our TikTok is good. It's a fun one. It's a, it, it's really good. It's a long TikTok. It is. It's pretty much a short film. The whole, have that. you seen it? I, I thought that that was the one that I had watched, but apparently I'm thinking of a different one. Well, we got, we have two and it is funny because then my friend, you know, my friend Maddie, um, yes. she like, l- like follows you and likes you and has and whatnot. And like literally, uh, what was just watching that and then when like I knock at the door and open like Maddie's one of my best and dearest friends and she was like Rowan and I was like oh yeah that's my that's my Vincey Aww. that's my Vincey poo Vince do you find that a lot of your fan base from your band is also the fan base on your TikTok or is is it separate I mean yeah it's it's a lot of the times people tell me that's where they come from and mm. that comes from the whole like I just don't like the whole marketing schema like it's to promote the music really but like i just don't like the whole like my new song is out my no, it's bad. the whole like repeat like using your sound over and over again mm. like i think truly think that if if i have to burp oh please we welcome it, that actually. the mic is there <laughs> You should yep. see the way Arasha burps. It's groundbreaking. No, I, I, I love, bet. I love I got that, that vibe. though. The little like, thank she, you. She screams vi- like she when she does a burp, she goes. Argh! <laughs> but I, but I sometimes have the ones that just kind of leak out of me like that, and you kind of just have to like groan. Yeah. yeah, I had to really ride that one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're there. We're there. What was I saying? No idea. Um, you're promoting <laughs> the music. <laughs> oh, that yeah. Like I don't like the whole like I I, I think that if you a- ask people to listen to your shit, they do not care. Mm. You ever seen the movie Roots? Horror movie Roots? No. That would have been a good segue. Damn. Oh. Damn. Do it later. Yeah, yeah. We'll circle back on that. Um, touch him later. Yeah, touch him with later. With the plant. Again. Um, I think that if pe- I think that if people if you ask people to listen to something they don't want to. Hmm. You- Wait, did I just make the song of the summer? Yeah. Did I just make the song of the mm. summer? You know, I I get I I see where it comes from for sure because it's like there's so much content out there now. And TikTok is such a popular platform that has been responsible for stuff blowing up that I think 
it almost like I understand it from a marketing standpoint that people are like, if I want to find success with my music, with my uh, acting, with my like products that I'm making or something, I have to put it on TikTok and just kind of constantly be yeah. blasting it out so that it can reach a wider set of people and, and engage uh, a wider audience. So I understand it, but I I certainly also understand the frustration of just kind of seeing it over and over yeah. and being like this is too much well so people don't we are we don't like being advertised to anymore that's why like yeah it doesn't was, you just hear just like oh, i don't care it's mm. like more a, it's genuinely a wiser like marketing tactic to have a really like funny kind of thing and then people find out like oh wait he does music too and then they go to music and it's, mm. and well, it's good well, the, my what i was thinking when i was trying to do because we were working with the label and they asked like us to do more tiktoks and i was like and i had already done skits and shit on my personal tiktok i was like i'll just start uploading that on the band account mm -hmm. and so i would do like i don't know i would just do like i'll do like my like make fun of like indie dudes but like i'll be the lead singer of a band and then i would drop a video here of our band like mm. and then people would be like wait right he's actually in a band and people would like people absolutely hate my character a lot like there's people who hate it so I think people would be like, this guy, like, he's got music, too. Mm. And then, like, let's listen. Because people love to hate, hate, you know? Hate, listen, hate watch. Hey, I, I, I'm guilty. Yeah. Guilty. Uh, we all are. Guilty. Yeah. Um, but, oh, like... Uh, and belief. Uh-huh. And, like, um... But then sometimes... I've had so many people come up to me, like, I honestly, like, saw the TikToks. I, I hated you. And then I listened to your music and I was like, oh, I actually like it. Yeah. yeah. And then the music's they're great. at the shows. You know? I, I appreciate that tactic, too, I think. Like, it would it's a different thing to be creating content on an account that is specifically just, like, go watch, go stream, this is out, go, 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 go. As opposed to, like, doing something funny or just, like, creating content that is just, like, you and, like, your band. And then being like, but we are a band. You yeah. know, like that feels a little bit smarter to me than just kind of throwing it out there and, and just really making people feel like, OK, OK. Yeah. Like I'll like I'll literally be on TikTok and I'll be scrolling and it'll be like somebody and they'll be like, oh, my God, this shirt is like so comfortable. And I'll like start watching it and then I'll see like the little thing. Sponsored. That's sponsored. Sponsored. And, then you swipe and I'm like, never mind. Bye. It's tough. I mean, I understand that. Th and that kind of stuff can be lucrative. Right. Like if that that's kind of what. Stuff, influencers yeah. have kind of really ultimately become is just like advertisers like mm -hmm. all of tiktok essentially has become just like let me sell you this one thing let me just sell my songs let me sell my art in some type of way and again it's such a like that is like a very powerful tool for distribution it just is so saturated yeah like everybody is doing it it's also just like the the um what is it like the the culture of like what is now like influencer advertising where it's like mm, you you guys literally i just put on my itsy bitsy skimmy wimmy little <laughs> body <laughs> i don't know yeah. Like, yeah you know and i'm just like oh my god what Can all tiktok is like it's like have you seen the lives of people advertising yes. shit they cast that on I like actors access fake. all the time where it's like yeah, they they're like looking for like hosts. I thought it was fake because I I'm just like this has to be pre-recorded, right? And then they're like they're showing there's just you know it's funny. I was taking a shit and I was on TikTok not and I had sure. and I had my dude wipes. Oh yeah, yeah, not an advertisement sponsor, right? Not, a, not an advertisement, but like I was just, I grabbed to wipe and then I'm on TikTok and then I see this ad for dude wipes live streaming. She's and then I, I was like what the fuck? and then I was like is this real? Is this? I was like, is this pre-recorded? And then she was like, she was like, yeah, dude, wife, blah blah blah, like very soft, blah blah. And then she was like, no, it's not pre-recorded, mind's eye. <gasps> and then I was like, huh. and I'm like, still poop on my butthole. Got the <laughs> fucking phone in my hand. Got the like wipe in my hand. That's like, scary. And then I'm like, I'm literally. And then I was like, I'm literally about to wipe my ass with this oh. dude wipe right now. See, I that's the kind of shit that would make me go into psychosis. Right. Yeah. It's it's interesting. It's kind of like where is the divide of like you can create your own content, you can have fun with it, and then you can also secure your bag and like get a brand deal, have some sponsorships. It's like I think it has to be both instead of just being like I mean, unless I guess that's your job, unless you're also just like I'm an advertiser and I'm going to advertise products. I was going to say, yeah. and, and in that case, I encourage everybody to get their their bag. I'm not judging. I'm just saying when I'm on TikTok, I want 
You know those TikToks that are like, got to make a move. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm getting. Are sur- you in the I'm, band? I'm getting surgery in October. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a little vocal cord. I've been mine. Really? Mine is full I of am. like the. What are you doing? I'm doing a node removal. Oh. I know, dude. They're gonna like beetle juice me. Which will it will? F- is that oh? Anyways, I'll yeah. tell you about it later. Yeah. yeah. It. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um, 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 uh, Vince, you know, actually what I'm interested in as well is how you deal with, we had an episode on this in season one, but I'm, I'm curious on how you deal with like, with the haters on like comments and stuff like that. I'll call um, Rowan. Yeah. Usually. Or I'll get really high and then I'll be like, like I'm the last time it happened. So I'll tell the story. I was going to, the, oh, which story? The, the new Beverly one. I was gonna ask if you were comfortable telling that because it is a, interesting. Oh, I think that'd I, I be think, great. I think I'll tell it. Yeah, sure. I just want to um, make sure that was traumatic for you, like actually. Yeah, it actually f- me up. Yeah. Oh my but, gosh! So, share only what you're comfortable with. Oh no, I shit uh, over share all the time. I shit all uh, the time. Oh, I shit all the time, oh, and I have my dude wipes. Not sponsored. Then I'm like, why are you ever like? Is she gonna wipe her ass on camera? <laughs> I wanted to say that so bad, but it just seemed like a like I was harassing her. Like a foul thing. <laughs> yeah, to say. but I want to be like, are you gonna wipe your little butt on the stream? <laughs> like, get your back, shoddy. I'm like, show me how it works. Yeah, <laughs> but exactly. I, it would have seemed like a weird. Yeah, it would have seemed like uh, harassment. It, yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard to capture tone on the chat. Yeah, but TikTok it was more live. of a poop, a little poop joke. But right. which we love. It seemed you like it more me, seemed bro? like yeah. yeah. <laughs> You gonna, you gonna wipe your ass for me? Yeah, well, I'm gonna wipe Girl. your ass or what? So, so the story. New story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was I <clears throat> saw uh, at the New Beverly, uh, which is the Tarantino's theater. I'm not. You probably don't know Tarantino. He's a director. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got some undercover stuff like uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or Pulp Fiction. It's like you wouldn't have heard of a lot of like his, some like, shorts. Yeah, like no. Yeah, well, not, yeah. Student films. Well, no, no. Ooh. It's just it's like kind of like uh like big brain. He actually didn't go to films. film school. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 He used to work at a video store. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. So he, I'm I'm like, not really in the industry. So yeah. no. He's yeah. just really cool. Also, well, it's not really even that. Take off your shoes and socks. It's not even that. It's just kind of that you're like a woman. So I don't think that you could really conceptualize. Oh, that's true. Hey, I can wipe my ass all I want. So true. Don't need to, no, don't need to be a dude to wipe. So the story. So, Sorry. We were at Tarantino's theater, mm-hmm. the New Beverly. I saw <clears throat> they were re-showing uh, Inglorious Bastards on film, mm. and it was really cool. I love that movie. Universal. What about it? Right. I don't think so. Girl. I don't think so. No. I think it's the Weinstein <laughs> Company. Bum, Sorry. Bum, bum. <laughs> Miramax, I think, as well. Sorry. Okay. Not, okay, anyway. Actually, you might be right. No, I know I think it might you, be universal. No, no, you actually are right because um, it's I a- need 100 Nazi scalps and I want my scalps. How does that make it? Because universal. it's in the clips. It's in the clips. It's universally it's known. Tram. Let me look Oh. It it's on the tram. Let me look it up. No. Yeah, so no, it might be the only Universal Tarantino movie. Yeah, so I remember when you guys tried to make me feel stupid. Um, mm. I don't remember that. All I have to say is, what's up? I just don't remember the Universal logo being in front of it. It is, but it's on the tram. Go, but, keep talking. So you could rent the lot and not be Universal. Produced. I know, but they wouldn't. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, but they wouldn't put it on the tram. I mean, they might. Really? Put, they wouldn't put the. Yeah, they would. They would. Didn't they put Maxine stuff? That's not a universal. Oh, no, it is a universal. Did they didn't? No, keep talking. They filmed on the back lot, though. They did. Wait. It was it a universal movie? Wait, universal what? It's A24. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not a universal movie. But they, they didn't put it on the tram. Maxine's on the tram. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. okay. You sure so about? the story. You wouldn't know. We're at Tarantino's hotel. Right. No, hotel? That'd be crazy. We're at I'm his, his theater. With him. We're at his theater. So he takes my shoes off yes. slowly. Yes. Um, I'm at the theater. I'm watching the movie. It was such a good time. I love that movie. It was cool seeing it on film. I didn't get to watch it in theaters when it came out because I was just a wee boy. Mm-hmm. But um, right. I, I'm i like leaving and this guy's like staring at me and I'm like, oh, I, I, you can kind of tell when somebody recognizes you, mm-hmm. you know? And he's looking at me and he, he like walks up to me and then he's like, uh, he's like, Hey man, I have a question for you about your band. And then I was like, "Yeah, sure, dude. What's up?" And then he was like, "Your vocals fucking suck and your music is ass." And then I was like, "What's the question?" And then I was right, like, right. and then I said, "Thank you." 
And then, because I thought he was joking for a sec, and yeah. then I laughed, and then he said, and then he like pokes my chest, and then he goes, F- you, you fucking asshole. And then oh he just God. walks away with his group of friends. <gasps> Weird freak behavior, truly. Yeah. And it like fucked me up for like a good a minute. Like every time somebody was walking fast around me, I was like, yeah, it really oh messed with God. you. Yeah, but it wasn't, and it wasn't really about like, oh, my vocals are bad. It was more like, how could somebody be so fucking mean to me oh my gosh and also just a matter of your safety of like obviously that like he walked away eventually but that could have been much worse like you don't know what he was planning on doing especially when things started to get physical yeah Yeah, why is he approaching you with such hate in his heart for you and and being physical (sighs) and like it's just weird also it was the Weinstein company and Universal Pictures you feel good about that sorry I, I certainly do that's um, wild, Vince. I'm really sorry that that happened. <laughs> he called me like two in the morning. You were so you were very upset. Oh yeah, I called you right after it happened. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's just again, sometimes with behavior like that, though, you just have to like truly be like, I can't ever like imagine behaving like this, and I wish you growth and yeah. and well, peace. Cause there was a lot of a sorry. Weirdo. No, you're good. There was a lot of people around. Like, okay, so the way in the new Beverly, it wasn't just like he did that to me. It was like. It's a small theater, so when you get out, everybody's on the sidewalk. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, yeah. so many people saw him do it to me, and he was yelling at me. And then there's so many people came up to me afterwards, and they were like, he's just projecting, don't listen to him. Aww. And then a lot of people came up to me, and they're like, what's your band? Yeah. Oh. So then a lot of people asked for... So it was kind of like a cool thing, but also like... And you said, no bad press. Maybe you should organize a, a, a something like that again. I'll, for, I'll come up to you. Like, hey, yeah. man, you stink. Yeah. You you stuck. stink. You're banned. You're banned. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah, stink. You're banned. banned. <laughs> you're in a band and it stinks. And and to just be that angry about the music. <laughs> exactly. Like the vocals. Like and the, the vocals it's not don't stink. It's point. not that you said anything or did anything. He's specifically angry at your vocals. I guess so, yeah. So weird. I don't know. Like it was it was really weird. I think it took a while for me to be like to not take because I am very like I don't know I just take things like I'm a very like I don't know you're a soft boy yeah I'm a soft soft. boy I'm a sensitive guy sensitive sensitive which is I think a good word you're Scorpio yeah I am Scorpio Scorpio I'm very sensitive as well Mm, yeah we're sensitive girlies (laughs) up in here it's a good thing no but I mean I I mean what happened I think I talked like to about it to Rowan a lot and then um my our other friend Jillian and like I kind of just like got re- there was a moment where I just got really high and then something clicked in my head and then I was like he doesn't know me <laughs> I was like, and that's you got to do drugs to get there yeah folks, <laughs> no that's you know the it. only way right I don't actually smoke that much it just helps. no um, absolutely you ever I- done a therapy session high no no actually I one time I uh went to my therapist and I was deeply coming off a bunch of pills and molly and how was that? Really scary. I'm yeah. sober now, yeah. as we've mentioned. But <laughs> right. I was like literally sitting in my therapist's office. She's like, how are you feeling? And I was like... Right. No, I can imagine. It's just Good. like you're more in touch with your emotions and feelings like Good. in a different way. You're like willing to admit more, confess, or maybe like dig deeper kind of. Yeah. I can see that. Wait, you mean when you're high? Yeah. Or when... Yeah, yeah, yeah. In I general. Think, like... I can't do that. I get high and I'm like, nothing's real. That's no, how definitely. I usually get. But I think I... I did it that one time and I did it not knowing. I was like, oh shit, I forgot I have therapy. And then I went and like I, I did the call. And then she was saying stuff. I was like, holy f- you're right. You're, you're on <laughs> to something. I was something. like, how the f- did you do that? I was like, <laughs> yeah, it was because of my mom, huh? I holy. didn't do any of this shit. <laughs> that I didn't is do so anything funny. wrong. But you bring up a really good point of like, that's a really great way to almost like, separate yourself from what fans and haters are saying it's like the praise is obviously great the hate is not but to be able to separate it and be like you only are seeing what i'm letting you see what i'm posting what i'm promoting what i'm putting on my tiktok what i'm doing on stage like that is supposed to be public my private life is my private life yeah and i think that gets a little tricky and it like going like both sides with haters and fans is like I get like people will say the like, like we'll be like, I was going through addiction and your album, your guys' album helped me go through that. And that's like, 
crazy and I, and like the 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 love that we get sometimes will give me imposter syndrome because I'm like, dude, I'm not, I I'm just a guy and I I what if I disappoint these people and I I want to be a good person and totally. I you know like I so I think I have that a lot but at the same time like yeah it also goes with the like the hate it's like right the, but they both don't know everything about me or yeah. like they don't know. But that's why I mean, I, going back to the fan thing is like I try to to give fans all of like I try to show all of me. Absolutely, like I don't like I don't like withhold things. Yeah, and also at the root of it, at the core of it, the art that you're making is timeless, and like no one ever knows what the future holds. But the people appreciate what you're doing right now, and you're great. Absolutely, well, thank you. You're you're even though it might not feel like it all the time because we are human and oftentimes when we're in the public light it can be incredibly dehumanizing mm -hmm. but you're making a positive impact and you don't have to necessarily necessarily claim that and be comfortable with it but there are fans out there that are like you got me through this and and that just that is something that just gets to exist yeah, yeah. and i think also i was literally just talking about this yesterday but that's all the more reason why i'm like i'm going to take the few extra seconds to have an interaction yeah with some is like i just wouldn't mm -hmm. like i don't know the best way to word this um like i wouldn't oh god how do i how do i word this we can help you where was i going with this glockenspiel that's what it was how mm. if i no how i don't do have I... a glockenspiel bit mm, glockenspit okay. yep um Ball. yeah that was really good thank well, you i was gonna say one moment you're up on stage and everyone's cheering for you and the next you and i are spending three hours trying to get through the fifth night of Fred, five nights at freddy's oh my gosh oh. just kind of how we are love yeah. that we love five nights at freddy's um, we do have to get ready to wrap up here, but we have a spitball prepared for you. Yes. Um, well, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we should maybe pivot to fit more of the conversation that we kind of ended up having. Sure. I'm wondering. Absolutely. Because I'm kind of wondering if we can spitball about what is maybe the worst and best places to be recognized. Oh, so true. Like, That's where would you, where would you not want to be seen like versus you, where would you be like, I'm totally open to that? Like, have you ever seen that? It's the picture of uh, Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. It's like deep, like 2000s. <gasps> Thousands, like 2007 and they're in a sex, sex shop. shop and a fan is literally oh. they're like holding like a, a dildo and they're like <laughs> and a fan took that. a picture with and them. I think it's that's nuts. great um best and worst I've had a I mean the worst one I had is I got recognized at Universal while I was cleaning up vomit <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's tough and then I had to and take my real. gloves off to take the photo oh it's like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah just <laughs> yeah, one one early. Yeah. and then someone walks by you oh, this cute this yeah you know, I don't know if mine is I, a place doesn't really come to mind, but definitely if I'm like if I'm like bumming it and not feeling like I'm looking my best, oh, that's yeah. the worst. Like when I walk to Ralph's, when I'm yeah. on my when I'm at Ralph's, yes, I don't want to be known. I, it hasn't got... happened yet, but I'm like, yeah, uh -huh. that's when I'm like, I want like sunglasses, sunglasses. I need to that, just like, get out of here. I was rocking sweatpants with like these like like colorful sneakers oh, it gross. was just not the look I'm just kidding. it was no it was it was oh, terrible the yeah they were like they had colors on them <laughs> what the it was, was not the look and i was like if someone comes over to me I, I i will be like we can take a photo but like can i keep my mask on like you know oh, yeah. it just i feel like that is more that feels closer to me than like an actual place where i wouldn't want to be seen you know I, I got I, I guess I wouldn't like my photo be taken when I take my weekly trip to the Church of Scientology. I would like that. Why don't you think I'm funny today? I don't know. <laughs> I I got uh reckon I it's not really like the place I wouldn't want to be, but it's like more like during a situation. Mm -hmm. mm. It's like I've been recognized uh I was having like an argument like an like a, a relationship argument like this is an old thing yeah, okay. like a relationship argument at disneyland and i'm like crying we're like, like crying and <laughs> oh. i was like <laughs> and, and, crying. and then somebody's like i'm sorry are you uh mind's eye right are you are you, mind's are, you are, are you are you the band yes and then i yeah. was like yeah Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, can you take a picture? And I'm like visibly like red and from crying. Oh, like I don't oh. think they knew, but like yeah. read the realm. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> there's a picture somewhere. Right. It's, you just like oh, no, dude. No, I actually have one that okay. happened to me. Okay, great. I somebody recognized me at the at the urinal next to me oh. while I was mid piss, and he had his like dick out. Like he had he was mid piss, and he's like, 
Yo, Vince. You could have. They You're supposed you. to keep your eyes down. They, they yeah. could have probably waited until you guys absolutely exited the yeah. laboratory. That's wild. That was funny. I I was at I was at AMC once and I was like trying to take in full like Chick Fil A into the movie and at the front they were like. No, like you can't do that. And I was like, and I understand. Um, so I went over to the side and started just like housing my Chick Fil A down so that I could make it into the movie. Right. And somebody comes over while I was fully stuffed and was like, "Excuse me." And I thought I was getting in trouble yet again for eating right next to the movie theater. <laughs> and then, and again, I just was like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing anything that's like even remotely criminal when someone approaches. You just want right. to be happy and pretty and yeah. like, yes, I'm in a great mood to do this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like it reminds me of the one time I was like at this concert with my girlfriend and oh I was like gosh. just trying to have like a low key night. Right. Like I didn't want like any kind of attention and like this woman turns around and she's like, Are you on the internet? Ugh. And I'm like, please. And then please. she tried to like play it off. I know she tried to play it off. Like she was asking for some like, wireless connection. Right. Yeah. Please. Right. Uh, please. So, yeah, so that's embarrassing for her. Um well Vince. Um Exactly. Yeah. Um, Vince, tell the people where we can find you, both in public and on social media. And we're in tonight. Oh. I don't know. I don't have plans. So. I'm getting my hair cut at 530. That's a late. Seems like late for a haircut. That's a late haircut. Well, I had to film Bebo. Yep. Well, you can find uh, Mind's Eye on Spotify and all streaming services. Um, that's pretty much it, you know, or Mind's Eye. Mind's Eye sucks on Instagram. <laughs> um and the TikTok. guy from the New Beverly certainly thinks we do. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, He's... thank you for showing up. Thank you for giving us your time, for sharing those stories and um, and talking about your cats. Of course, yeah. Yeah. It was so fun. It was so great Let's to have you. Let's you guys want Vince to come back. Hey, I have nothing to do. <laughs> All right. Sure. I'm unemployed, and my grandma helps me out. Nice. Amen. Amen. There's nothing wrong with that. No, we Vince, this it. was so great. We yeah. we absolutely loved having you. Like this was such a great conversation, and literally, like we had a whole like other thing that we could have talked about with you, but like this was just so fascinating and honest and real. So thank you for just bringing that grounded perspective. I'm still saying like you you really did make me think about all of these new insights in in oh. terms of like uh, just side hustles and, and jobs and just like being a well-rounded person aside yeah. from just also being a very successful musician so thank you for that thank you yeah, yeah. all right Honor and a privilege love you love you love you guys thanks for tuning in we'll see you next week on speedball see you next monday Speedball. Bye. Bye.